No eyes, no eyes on me. Today we are uh, partaking in various fitness tests, seeing where I'm at, seeing how much I've improved, and uh, hopefully the results will be fantastic. So you've had a good camp? Mm. Very, very good camp. Uh, been a bit up and down with fight dates, but you know, uh, we've kept the motivation high, we've uh, trained hard, and I feel like I've improved, so we're going to see today. Uh, it's been about 16, 17 weeks in camp. Um, grinding hard every week, so if I haven't improved, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> so you've had 17 weeks, um, not only doing the s &C, but you've also been away doing some good sparring. Uh, yeah. Do you want to talk to us about that? Yeah, I was a main sparring partner for Zanat Zaninov, who uh, boxes under Ricky Hatton. Well done, mate. Manchester, <laughs> thank you. Um, he boxed for the interim WBA back in the title and uh, he, he managed to win that on a split decision over in Monte Carlo, over 12 rounds, so um, yeah, that was a brilliant experience for me. Um, and then I was down in London in uh, Adam Booth's gym, training with Ryan Burnett, doing some sparring for the British title, which he won on Saturday. And um, you know, in his interview afterwards with my film, he said that the reason he won was because he had such <laughs> talented sparring partners push him all the way and put him in situations that had not been in before and that got him through a tricky fight with a tough opponent like Jason So you can claim a British title win and an oh, uh, interim world title as well? Well yeah, that's, that's it really, but I mean, this, if, if you want to succeed, come to me and be a sparring partner. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be a sparring partner anymore, I want to be the champion, so uh, Good man. my time will come. Yeah, so talk to me about this camp, what you've been doing down at Sheffield Hallam. Uh, has things been different? Has it gone up a level? Definitely, we've gone up a level. You know, um, I've, I do a, a running program as well from uh, Sheffield Hallam, devised by the Wizards. Um, <laughs> so, and you know, we're running faster, getting them at higher speeds, and um, in, that that obviously proves that the strength training that we're doing is getting legs stronger, cardiovascularly, um, and I'm getting better. Um, Anaerobically, you know. Yeah. Um, so I feel good. We're in training now. I've been putting up the weights. We're doing plenty of strength work, uh, plenty of mobility work. We're getting more agile and uh, faster, stronger. You know. Good stuff, man. So you're just about to do lactate profile and 30-15. Yeah. I feel for that. Uh, you know what? I'm making way for a fight. <laughs> Not making any excuses. I'm going to run until I can't run anymore and whatever I hear, I hit. Whatever I don't, I'm going to start out. So Alan, can you explain what we're doing here? Yeah, so we've just taken a, a little bit of, of blood from John's fingertip um, and in that blood uh, I'm going to pop it into this little uh, solution here uh, and that, that's going to separate, separate out a few things. I'm going to pop it in this machine and it's going to tell me how much lactate is in his blood. I'm going to use that as a, a little resting sample, a little baseline for us to, to base um, our, our test on. And when he's done, he's going to sell it because it's liquid gold. <laughs> <laughs> it chants blood. No eyes on me.
So today Jordan's done a lactate profile and our max test which is a 3015 intermittent running test. What we're looking for when we see the lads have improved their fitness is that they've got a lower heart rate uh, at each speed. So Jordan's done 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 kilometers per hour, three minutes at each. Uh, and we're, we're looking at his heart rate, how hard he feels the exercises and his lactate response to each of those, those three minute stages. His heart rate is about 10 to 12 beats per minute lower at each stage and his lactate is a lot lower at each stage as well. And the point in which his lactate starts to rise in his blood and starts to increase quite significantly has, has shifted to a higher speed. So he's able to use uh, less energy for the, for the lower speeds but also at the point in which he starts to find it difficult that shifted to a higher speed which means that he can perform at a higher intensity with less an effort um, from, the, from the data that we've got before. In his 3015 test, um, he, he's, he's on half a banana, I think, at the moment, but he's almost, you know, he almost he attained... He can breathe out now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but he almost attained his, his, his pre-training camp fitness score, uh, which is absolutely... Post-training camp, so before the last fight. So it was that, okay. Yeah. So, so, so after the last what? fight... He's, he's only six seconds off of that when he's got nothing in him and he's done a good at what how long has he been in today? Six, uh, uh, it's been in two and a half two, hours. Two and a half hours of full of full of tests uh, and he's and he's still he's only six seconds away from, yeah. from it. That. How do you feel Jordan? Brilliant. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing, apart from those eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, we'll cut it there. Cheers, Alan. Right.